Okay. Eric, your thoughts on just the emerging chemistry, those five together now for a second consecutive night, your thoughts on how they're looking together. Yeah, I like it, you know, but who cares what the head coach thinks? You know, they like it. They're comfortable. They're gaining confidence. Uh, and the most important thing is they're intentional about the work uh, and the process uh, of, of putting this, uh, you know, together to, to start the season. Uh, and then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens once we, once we get into it, and we'll have to figure things out. But um, I love the intent so far. I know it's just the one preseason game, but how much was tonight kind of a representation of BAM's continuous evolution, just five shots in the paint, the three threes, the nine free throws, just kind of showing off yeah. the whole offensive arc? Yeah, it was all of it, the facilitating, uh, you know, being able to draw fouls, you know, that's so key, uh, finding those uh, – uh, in the gap plays, or cutting behind the defense, or just going into an open space. Uh, yeah, those are those are big plays. They're momentum shifting plays. Um, you know, playing off the ball a little bit, setting screens for us, uh, and then yes, uh, spacing the floor. That's what probably like the only thing people notice. You know, I'm seeing all the other parts of his game uh, continue to grow, um, and that's needed. You know, you know for our team. I don't know if you can emphasize something that was never de-emphasized, but after the steal percentage, turnover percentage that you were forcing last year slipped a little bit numerically, what have you maybe focused on in training camp or preseason? Yeah, like uh, to be who we're supposed to be more consistently. You know, that's that's really the bottom line. Um, like committing to it from day one. Uh, it's tough. This league is is a challenge. You know, to defend. Uh, all the skill, the aggressiveness, the spacing, uh, the creativity, you know, that each team is, is playing with right now. Uh, you can't do it unless you commit wholeheartedly to multiple efforts, the conditioning <laughs> that you need to be able to defend at a high level, uh, the elite communication, to be able to be on a string always because you can have the best schemes you're going to get broken down at some point you just have to make plays there has to be like an intuitive feel uh and the only way you know i believe you get that is by drilling it working it communicating it talking about it struggling through it uh and just committing to that process when you commit to it uh and realize hey you have to do tough things it it actually can be fun looking at what jimmy's energy and kind of the emphasis <clears throat> after all that stuff transpired is that just kind of a good yeah uh, yes <laughs> start even if it is the preseason yeah you know it's it's been great you know in training camp you know he's like that you put a score on anything he's he's going to go after it and you know yeah we more the heat so we like all these kind of like emotions even if it's if it's preseason can you just kind of talk about what Jaime brings to that second unit? It seems like he got to the line a lot and kind of found his spots a little bit. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of skill and shooting, you know, with that unit. Uh, and Drew can get the group organized. Duncan obviously creates a lot of different uh, havoc on his own just by running around. K-Love gives you great spacing and, and savviness. They know how to manipulate the defense, but ultimately you also – and A.B. was really good. You know, he's a, just a really high IQ player. I knew he was a, a bucket getter, but he's a smart, intelligent player. Um, he knows how to, to fit in and, and let a unit work. But you also need the ball to have a place to go to, you know, when you get stuck. And that's what happened, you know, a few times tonight, and that's part of uh, Jaime's, you know, talent is – he can create something out of nothing, and everybody can run around and do what we need them to do, and then all of a sudden you need the ball to go somewhere. You feel that he can create something aggressive going into the paint, and, and he's been intentional and, and diligent about working on you know, pl- making plays as well um, because you know, teams are, are scheming him a little bit more if he catches it in that mid post. You talked a lot about what Terry could bring defensively for you guys since making the trade in January. What do you think he's given you on that end of the floor in yeah, preseason so far? He's committed to it. He understands how important it it is to our defense for us to be disruptive and and to do the things with the activity level. If you don't have a a, a point of attack aggressive defender, uh, you can still do it. Uh, it, it. It becomes a little bit more complex. Uh, he's committed to that. This is also not a reinvention it's kind of just 
um, um, remembering. You know, this is the kind of player he was at Louisville. This is the player he was uh, with Boston. Uh, and at times, uh, there's different schemes um, in Charlotte, but this is, you know, him committing to it where he knows that he can expend a lot more energy there, uh, knowing that we have a lot of offense, uh, weapons offensively, um, you know, on the other end. And, and, but the speed and quickness that he's bringing on both ends of the court, uh, that changes our complexion. Um, Duncan obviously had a, a great start to last season, all the way in pretty much two thirds of the season until the injury came up. He looks like he looked early last year. Oh, he's fully healthy. He's ready. He's ready. And that's awesome. Did yeah. you have any concern at the time that he would get back to this point? When you have a super long off season, all of this stuff worked itself out. Anybody that was injured had like two months <laughs> to rest and then start a very detailed program to get back you know to health and do all the conditioning the strength work, work and all that stuff he yeah uh, he didn't skip any steps with, with that and if he didn't get hurt you know he would have looked much like he did now in the beginning of the season he, he's he's that uh he's that confident and, and uh his game has has grown with his skill set that much okay thank you